So is it the fake rally or not? So in today's episode, I'll try to break down one of the most common question, one, one of the most important question, which one is asking a lot of traders, a lot of investors, and most of the all market right now is getting really confused. Is it the fake rally or not? So, and what is the best decisions to do right now? So as well, I'm gonna share my trades. Uh, I opened the position. I'm gonna explain why it opened, where I put my stop losses and all other stuff. So if you are somehow connected to Bitcoin or you want to be connected to the Bitcoin, I highly suggest you press that like, subscribe to this channel, join our Telegram channel, and we're just getting started. So let's go to the charts right now straightly and talk about the Bitcoin. So basically, that's that was actually very obvious that today can have a lot of emotions on the market because... Um, because first of all, uh, let's try to break down Bitcoin on a high time frame, and that gonna uh, then then we will have answers. What is actually really going on? So here I put some waves, right? Uh, this is how the market structure looks like right now. This is we don't need anymore. This is we don't need anymore. So basically, to start to analyze, we need to look at these five impulsive waves over here, right? Uh, so we we put it as a wave one, two, three. Right now we are in a wave four, and uh, there's possibility of wave wave five. So basically uh, right now, uh, what is the targets for wave four as well? If you're going to take a Fibonacci put on the beginning of the wave three, end of the wave three, right? So we need to measure all this full, this wave three to understand where is our targets as a wave four, right? Which is four or whatever correctional structure it is, right? So basically uh, for our targets right now, for now is that point three two point six. This is the targets where uh, usually the markets make some reversal if this is a correction, right? But most likely prices comes to 0.5 to 0.6. So basically uh, the answer, why is this? I mean, uh, there's a lot of emotions on the market actually leads here because uh, a lot of people are expecting a little bit deeper correction. Yes, we entered actually in the zone of high attention over here, right? And we had some kind of bounce, right? We have some kind of movement uh, leg up over here. Uh, so basically, after entering the zone of high attention price, any time can fly away, right, and go go higher. So basically, the main question is: Is it the real real impulse over here, or is it just a fake one, right? So um, there is no obvious and straightly the guy who's gonna tell you that it's for sure gonna be like that, right? It's gonna be or fake or it's gonna be a real impulse. But you can look at the other conditions, which on today I'm gonna share with you and what I'm seeing on the markets for today. So basically, uh, yes, we entered, let me open once again this one, yeah. So actually we entered to the 0.3 to 0.5 area. So, uh, and after that we have some kind of bounce. So main uh, question right now, uh, we need to ask ourselves, why we didn't enter over here? Why we didn't open some position longs here, right? First answer for that one, we need a more confirmation. So basically, if this is wave four, right, we need a confirmation as a sub wave one and two. So we need to see something like this, wave one, two, after three, four, and five, right? Something such kind of. So basically, before we enter in the position, so that we not jump straightly over here randomly, right? We need a formation of the wave, sub wave one on the smaller time frame, right? So basically what happened? Yes, uh, wave four entered in the zone of high attention actually, right? I mean, not a uh, more kind of stronger zone of high attention, which one we, uh, our is a 0 0.5, 0 0.6, but it's very often happens that the price can bounce straightly from here and go higher without retesting this golden golden box, which one you can see on your screen. So basically, yeah, this is the reason why we didn't enter over here. We, uh, we was waiting for wave one. So right now is the main question, right? Is this one is wave one? So is this movement over here, if we take a LH wave, right? Wave one, two, three, four, five, right? Like this we put. So the main question is this is wave one. If this is wave one, then uh, we have all more rights to enter the position, so enter the longs uh, right now, right? So, so uh, on the wave two over here, on the second wave. So basically, this is why there's a lot of confusion and the, uh, the lot of traders are asking themselves, is it the fake movement or just, uh, um, 
just a really beginning of some kind of impulse because here's happen uh, there's a really big possibility of that one that the price not gonna do something like this and instead he must to do something like this right because the price can retest this area once again and only after that make some kind of movement and uh, basically you as a trader you need to be ready for that one right so this is why we didn't open position here after we had this movement uh, down right we did not open the position over here we didn't open positions over here and we started to look at really clearly and very specifically for the market right and we are very concentrated exactly when we entered into the zone of high attention so this is why we call this one zone of high attention here we need to be very concentrated and here the price is for us is really interesting to enter some longs over here so basically uh yep yeah, this is what, uh, what we're expecting. But uh, any time the price can fall again and creates for us one more bottom, right? So for that one, to not having that kind of uh, stress, you need to do proper risk management because no one knows the price can bounce from here. Price can once again retest here after again uh, retest it and from uh, after again go higher, right? So basically, to try your longs for that one, you need a deposit, right? So you need to do proper risk management to open the trade because you you shouldn't be depend only on this trade because yes, if you are wrong and for example, if you're trading for 20% of your deposit, right? So for example, if you have a like a $10,000 and you just put uh, like 20% of the 20, 20% uh, 20 of 10,000, so around $2,000 you are betting for, for this movement, right you are doing a very wrong risk management and in case the trade uh, the trends uh, do some kind of reversal and retest your stop loss once again here right uh, you have you will lost a lot of money and that's going to be really significant loss for you and for you it's going to be really hard except that the price once again retest that area and here maybe once again right twice enter that so if you're using two 20 percent of your deposit that's around like a three times enter so basically that's uh, like maybe six thousand dollars you lost for for checking those ground and you and for sure end of the end of the trade you're gonna have a really a lot of stress and this is what you don't want to do so this is why we trade 1% to 5% and maximum is the is the damn maximum 10 percent you know no more than percent we are trading per trade so this is why i feel comfortable to enter the trade right now and try is this impulse after correction and going higher or we're gonna fall once again lower right and uh, from here we're gonna see some kind of bounce so basically if this scenario fully wrong right and here we are risking just a one percent of our deposit to trade this one if we are wrong and here again we are wrong right and uh, impulse not beginning at all because everything is possible on the market this is the bitcoin and this is the trading and this is the charts right no one knows the future i'm not here for predicting the future i'm here for uh telling you the one of the probability what is outcome so for probability no one knows the for sure what's gonna happen on the market right but most likely and that most likely is enough to earn money you know that's uh, that's how trading is uh, it is so basically this is how I analyze the market. If there is a chance for me uh, to enter the trade, I'm going to enter the trade. So basically, here I'm seeing the opportunity to enter the trade. So basically, I did open on a smaller time frame here. I opened some long positions here because basically, if this is the wave one, so right now is really very important. If this is a wave one, let me clean this one. Let me clean this one. Let me clean this one. We don't need. So basically, we are interesting impulse correction. So basically, this is impulse. Let me take this uh, this tool. Here's the impulse correction, and after again impulse, right? So we are expecting. We want to catch something like this, right? To get in the profits um, and get really great trade. So basically, if we're gonna put the Fibonacci from the beginning and the end of this impulse, right? We have a targets. We have a same targets as what as 0 0.3 to 0.6 over here right like this and most likely prices comes to 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 and as you see we retested this important area so we can clean the 0 0.3 we don't care and we have a golden box and as we enter into this golden box you can see the extreme candle over here this is extreme and we 
guys squatting combination you can see that a lot of splash of volumes massive splash of volumes over here you can see divergence that the price is decreasing over here volumes are increasing right like this so this is unharmonious market move so it cannot continues forever so this is why we have targets and from these targets we are expecting some kind of bone so what happened exactly what we saw we saw once bones exactly this is what I, what I meant here we entered some long positions because actually this is the impulse right but again what did the market uh, done here he uh, uh, he showed some pumps and wash out everybody and again start to grow so this is why it's really what is happening on a smaller time frame can happen on a higher time frame so when I mean that there is possibility that the price can easily fall again to the lower prices and after bombs i mean it right i'm not kidding that's really can happen so you need to be prepared and how to be prepared of course do the proper risk management when it comes to proper risk management you easily open the trade so i know that right now i'm opening like second position already and i know that it can uh, close completely in a loss right but end of the day i have a plan and most likely that plan gonna work out and i'm gonna be in the profit so this is why it's really important to stick to your Plan. So right now, we, what did uh, what did we make? Yes, here basically we had some kind of bounce. We opened some trade. We put stop losses over here because we're trying to catch that impulse, right? So we put uh, stop losses over here. We closed positions somewhere over here because I saw already that there is no um, no continuation of this movement, right? So uh, I closed my position. So we had like really very small loss over there. We again retested this golden box, right? Without a problem, that's that's really can happen very easily. So basically, we saw that really good confirmation for the longs, and right now it looks like we are going higher. But once again, repeating, that's the possibility that we will fall again over here, right? And our stop losses get liquidated once again. But we don't care because we have a plan. Right now, it's possibility that this is the impulse correction and next uh, next impulse uh, begins. So this is what we want to catch, right? But in case if this golden box not gonna catch, I mean, if not gonna hold over here, right? If the price gonna fall once again and go even deeper, for us having more confirmation that the price most likely gonna see one more bottom over here so here we're not gonna open any trades right and we will wait more deeper correction and from here we will catch the trade so for now we have all more rights to open the long positions right yes there uh, expect something massive dump so uh, do the proper risk management and this is where it comes when the professionals start to uh, loss with, uh, with everybody you can catch some stop losses very easily right because this is one of the most manipulative wave right in the five impulsive waves so here's a lot of manipulations happening and no one has some power to predict the market remember that right so everybody takes the probability and the winners will be the people who is doing the proper risk management right so i beg you to do proper risk management learn proper risk management so join our telegram channel there i'm teaching everything about that you can join our mentorship program as well and all other things everything is in telegram channel the link in the description below do not forget to join it there's because there is a lot of useful content for each one of you the person who's listening this uh video right now so basically yep yeah, uh right now i opened the some uh, some longs yes i didn't open one mistake i made over here because basically best decision was to open trade over here right and put stop, stop loss somewhere here because if we take a fibonacci put on the beginning and the end of this impulse if the correction will retest that point eight over here right that's a not correction already so this is not impulse correction most likely we're gonna fall even lower so this is why the best decision actually was to open the uh, longs over here put your stop losses over here so basically in my telegram channel once again repeating i did give this signal over here i said what do you think we uh we have some bullish conditions over here and look at that we was expecting that the price gonna pump so here was really good time to open some longs and i call that and in case long set your stop losses at 57 to the best uh is 56 right so around or here put your stop losses or here the best of course would be over here uh on the previous low so we didn't do that we was expecting more confirmations i want to see more confirmations on a one hour time frame so i did see that because uh over here you can see that the 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 price 
price already creates for us uh, the bullishness. The volume start to increasing, the price start to increasing. So right now I feel much more safe to open the longs, right? And I set my stop losses somewhere over here. So uh, in my Telegram channel, also I gave it, I opened the, the long and set my stop loss at 60,736. So here is my stop losses and Guys, again repeating, do the proper risk management because these trades are very volatile right now and everything can happen. So do not trade more than 10% from your deposit to take those trades, right? And lower your leverage. Of course, I'm, I'm using like a 10 to 25x, not more leverage. That, that That's my comfortable uh, leverage where I feel good, right? So do not do some, do not hiring your risks uh, on any, uh, any means. So basically, yeah, this is what I think about the market. So, uh, there is possibility that we will go lower right now, right? So this is a possibility that full this movement over here is fake out, f completely fake, right? And there's possibility when we are going lower and uh, we will see the massive dump, right? But for from the trading perspective, right? Not prediction perspective, right? Trading perspective, you have an all moral right to open some longs right now and call for the higher prices. Even you think the price might be go lower. Because why? Because you are not an Nostradamus, right? Yeah, you can see that the, the correction came over here. If you take a Fibonacci from the beginning to the end of this impulse, you can see that a uh, correction came to 0.3 to 0.5 area, right? So anytime there's possibility, the impulse begins and you don't want to miss it, right? So if you have a possibility to do not, not miss it, right? It means if you're doing the proper risk management, you can trade that, right? Uh, and if not, right? Um, if you uh, if you're not trading that one, uh, then you can wait for deeper correction and basically yes, because expect once again repeat, repeat, expect some more deeper correction because the massive dump still can happen and we are going go uh, going much more lower. So repeating once again, even I am in the, the trade, even I'm opening some longs from trading perspective, right? I still can expect more lower prices and this loss, which one I, I will catch if I will catch, that's not gonna to be significant for me and I don't care at all because I'm doing the proper risk management, right? But I'm still, uh, that will be really great if we will fall again, even my stop loss hits and we will go lower because basically that's going to be much more harmonious because 0.5 and 0.6 area is the correctional area and this is where we are expecting Bitcoin's price. So uh, basically, is it a fake a fake out or not? So from, from, from investment perspective, the people who is the, some kind of wants to uh, uh, accumulate some coins, accumulate the Bitcoin for the long-term perspective, right? I will not wait at all because basically, yes, we are already in correction. So this this all movement is a correction. So you want to buy somewhere here. You don't want to buy here. You don't want to buy here, right? At the top, you want to buy at the corrections. And right now, uh, if we take some basic analysis, impulse, correction right here is always good time to buy because that's the correction and yes it might go even lower and that can be uh, not just uh, this impulses correction that can be this impulses correction right and it can be like this even but still you long term will be very fine if you're gonna buy some correction that's my suggestion for you uh, as a, you know, for long-term investment so basically if you are the beginner if and you are choosing your exchange the link in the description below trust me there is a really massive bonuses for you from the binks and from bybit if you're gonna use my link you can use the, uh, the in the link in the description below as well if you want to join my community you can exchange your uh, KYC and move from Bybit right to my uh, to my community, and you will support it really, really well. And right now, the Bybit is our support, uh, our partner as well. So it's introduced for us really great bonuses. So it's win-win for you and for me. So try to grab that uh, link in the description below. The Bybit and Binks, those two exchanges where I trade personally, and this is where I put my money in. But of course, do not put all of your money in any exchanges because do not trust exchanges. Uh, I don't trust by my, my, myself. I just put the, some a small amount of money for trading there. 
there, but those are the who's I choose. This is the Bing Swan and uh, Bing Swan and the Bybit. So basically, uh, do not forget to join our Telegram channel. Press that like, subscribe to the channel if you like this content, if you like the way I look at the market, if you like my analysis. Uh, leave a comment, leave your positive or negative, whatever it is, right? I'm so happy to hear each one of you and uh, see you somewhere here and bye bye.